The story of Tito Ortiz's street fight with Lee Murray starts not with either man. Instead, the beginning, at least as common lore, lies with two former UFC welterweight champions, Pat Militich and Matt Hughes. In his 2008 autobiography, Hughes related the story of Murray's street fight with Tito Ortiz, as told to him by Militich. Apparently, some late-night intoxicated horsing around between Militich and a member of Ortiz's entourage got out of hand outside the club. What started as a bit of pretend grappling ended up with a friend of Murray's KOing a friend of Tito's, Chuck Liddell swinging haymakers, bodies flying all over the place, and... Then I looked over, Hughes wrote, remembering Militich's story. And there's Tito directly past me, taking his coat off, going after Lee Murray. And Lee Murray's backing up the alley, taking his jacket off. Both their jackets come off, and Tito throws a left hook at Lee Murray and misses. And right as he missed, Lee Murray counters with like a five-punch combo, landed right on the chin, and knocked Tito out. Out! Tito fell face first to the ground, and then Lee Murray stomped him on the face a couple of times with his boots. Of course, Ortiz, himself, remembers things going down a little differently, but he doesn't deny that the fight happened. Not true at all, Ortiz said in a 2010 interview with Michael Chavello. One of my buddies got beat up, was getting stomped in the concrete outside, and I came to his rescue. Me, Chuck Liddell, and Damien started a fight. One of the guys sucker punched my friend Damien. My friend Bo dropped him on the floor. The cab ran over his arm and Lee Murray was in there. Lee Murray took a swing at me and missed. I took a swing at him. I clinched him. I need him. He broke away. He started running away. I started chasing into him. And he turns around and stops and plants his feet. I go to stop, and I slide right into him. He clipped me, dropped me, and I popped right back up. I was never unconscious at the time, T. Ortiz continued. In my whole life, I've never been unconscious, and I will never go unconscious. But I think those stories were fabricated a lot to try to build Lee Murray up. But God looks over all of us, and now he's doing a 10-year prison sentence. So karma's a bitch, huh? In his recent interview with Bloody Elbow, however, Murray remembered an entirely different version of events. Here's what happened. I took off my coat and passed it to my friend. Pat Militich was holding Tito back at first, but I called him and said, Tito, look, your pal. I was laughing and pointing to his pal knocked out cold on the floor by my friend Paul. Tito looked around and saw his pal on the floor sparked out cold, Murray remembered. He went crazy trying to get to me, and Pat was trying to defuse the whole situation. But because I was taunting Tito and laughing, it re-sparked, and Tito came towards me swinging punches. I slipped his punches and hit him with a three or four punch combo, which sent him crashing to his hands and knees. I then kicked him in the face twice. Pat and some of the guys pulled me off. They said, he is done. That is enough. Murray is currently serving a 25-year prison sentence for his part and the largest cash robbery in British history. But if he's ever granted early release, it seems he'd love another shot at Ortiz. I would fight Tito wherever he wants. I would fight him on the moon, with NASA judging the fight. Makes no odds to me where it is. In a cage or ring, on the streets, or in a prison yard, I'm ready, whenever he is.